Okay, start off connecting the VESC. <coughs> Going to go to app settings and to the PPM tab. We're going to go to the <coughs> mapping tab, which is next to general right here. And we've got pulse width start, pulse width end, and pulse width center. We need to press the real time data stream button. Change that to PID speed control and apply. We'll quick real time data app. And as you can see here, my values are 1.54 between 7 and 6. Um, and if I move my throttle, it goes up. If I move my throttle, it goes down. But they're your start and end point. So we're going to start off changing the center on this one to 4. Point two because it's sort of in between, and then the direction that you want to be your throttle is positive, so that's green. So one eight three three on mine. And that's the end point. So 1.833 and then break 1.28 one and then we can apply that and we can write application data. Now if you do do it now, you'll see that it's reaching the end and the sensors are very much the same. So what we've done right now is we have changed these values so when your remote is in the center, there's no throttle, there's no braking force or reverse force. And when we're full acceleration, that's the peak of your PID loop. And when you're at full reverse, then it's at the peak of your full reverse. You can also move the throttles and it will automatically give you these values right here and when you click apply it will write them here um, so if I refresh that and then just moved it a little bit you see those values changing and if I click apply it will automatically populate that but I want full throttle so Click refresh and move the sticks as far as they'll go and click apply and that will give it an exact value. I then write up configuration and we've got that center point.